Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Ileana, and if you are returning, thank you so much, and please do not forget to subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. In today's video, I am going to be sharing my testimony, um, how I became a Christian, and why I became a Christian. Let's get into it. So first, I'm going to start off by sharing my testimony, and I'm going to share, like, the backstory of it first. So when I was about like seven or eight, somewhere around there, I first found porn. Immediate hook. Started it on this tablet, and I think most of the times it was on a tablet besides one time on the phone, but it was like a really old phone that no one would use anymore, so but you can still go on the internet. So it was on the tablet at first. Constantly going on it, and I probably didn't even know like what I was doing at the time when I started it, you know, because I was like seven or eight. But I knew it was wrong. I definitely knew it was wrong. And I would go back to it, but I would go to it and turn it off and then go to it because I was so afraid somebody was gonna find out and I couldn't, I could not have anyone finding out because it was wrong and I knew it was wrong and, and I was sinning and I was not doing what I was supposed to be doing. But then one day when I was going to do the dishes, I wanted to watch it put it down on the counter so I could watch and do the dishes at the same time. My sister called me, my older sister. Immediately went for the tablet and I immediately turned it off. And my sister saw what I had done. She saw everything. I begged her not to tell my mom because I was so afraid that if my mom found out she would not think of me the same and she wouldn't treat me the same and she would just be disappointed in me. And I couldn't have my mom finding out. My sister said, if you don't tell her, I will. The entire rest of the day, I was so scared that she was gonna tell my mom. Now this was like a little bit later. I was crying in the bathroom and my mom apparently heard me. So she went over to me and she asked me, why are you crying? My sister was in the room too. And I was like, you tell her. And my sister told her everything and then we, went into her room and we prayed and she saw everything that I had done. That was kind of the end of that. But that's not the end of the story. I was probably about 10 when I did it again. And it was also on a tablet. A lot harder this time because I had done it before. I hooked again. I was still hiding it. I didn't want anyone to find out. Like, because this was still something bad. And the fact that I had done it before and I was and I got back on it and I was still doing it, made me feel even worse. I was constantly hiding it and then, but this time it was for a lot longer. It was harder to get rid of. Whenever I tried to stop myself, it was always harder. It would be like a couple days and then I'd be like, oh yay, it's been a couple days like since I done it. Like whether it was like accidental or not, whenever I recognized it, like the next day, even like immediately the next day, I would go back onto it. It was really hard. And then eventually my mom did find out again. That stopped. After that, I had started it back up again. I think I was like 12 and this time it was on a phone, but it was like an old phone that we never used. So you could still go on the internet, but she found out like relatively a lot quicker. That was stopped. I might have been like 14 or 15 when I had it on the tablet again. Not the same tablet, but like a different tablet. This time was probably the hardest time I've ever had. Every single time I was doing it, I kind of always hoped someone would find out because I was so tired of constantly having to hide it all the time. I was so tired of feeling scared and feeling like I let everyone down and like, like this was all my fault and like I'm supposed to be a Christian and I was doing all this stuff. Emotions running through my head and I was so tired of all of it. Like whenever I would go to church and stuff, I would always be like, okay, this is the day I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop today. And then nothing would happen because I wasn't letting God take over. I was trying to do it myself. Every single time I feel like I tried to stop in that time frame, I was trying to do it myself kind of still had the same thought process like i couldn't have anyone find out but around the same time was switching churches we had just left our old church and we were trying to find a new church eventually like a couple months later i mean it was more than a couple months but we found a new church that's really where i started to let god like take control really started to see myself like growing more 
in God. I mean, the church definitely helped a lot, I would say. And when I was at the church on Sunday one day, we were worshiping and I started to cry and I was like, like feeling God at that point. I went up and got prayed for because they had people up there that would pray for you if you need a prayer. And that's when my mom found out about that time. And then I had stopped and so far it has been seven months, which is nice, seven or eight months. You know, we're just hoping for the best right okay. now. Now let's get into how I became a Christian. I became a Christian when I was like around eight. We were at this special event thing at like a school. I actually don't remember what it was called, but it was like a Christian thing. And, and then a little bit after, like it had already started, like they asked people if they wanted to you know, ask Jesus into their heart and I went up and I did that. So I was pretty young when I became a Christian and I grew up in a Christian household, but I wouldn't say that's why I became a Christian necessarily. That's how I became a Christian. Um, I still haven't been baptized, but I really want to. Like, I, I've been telling my mom I've wanted to for the past like, like one or two years or something, but hopefully it actually like, you know, comes into action pretty soon. Um, so yeah, that's how I became a Christian. Now let's talk about why I became a Christian. Like I said, I grew up in a Christian household, but I wouldn't say that's why I became a Christian and why I really became, I feel like when I asked the Lord into my heart when I was like super young, I didn't necessarily like, like I knew that's what I wanted to do, but like fully became, like I was a Christian. I mean, I did ask the Lord into my heart, right? But I don't really feel like I necessarily was like in it all the way. I don't really know how to explain it, but hopefully you understand. I know like this year, last year, I really started to see a difference. I, like I said before, like going into this new church, I definitely felt myself drawn closer to God. And I love like the new church that I'm going to and all the people there. I definitely feel like they definitely did help with a lot of that. And I did share my testimony actually at my youth group. I was like super nervous though because I had never done anything like that before. I think it was like last year, I had wanted to tell like some of my friends and stuff about this, um, but I didn't for a while because I was kind of scared that like if people knew or if, like if my friends found out that I knew me treat me the same or wanted to be my friends anymore. So I didn't because of that. I think it was like months later. I eventually did tell like my close friends and then I still wanted to tell like my youth group but I just kind of pulled it, put it off, you know, till I felt like I was really ready a month ago or so. I finally did like share my testimony. So in conclusion, how I became a Christian. I became a Christian when I was eight. I think I was eight, might've been a little younger. And it was at this school event thing, but it was a Christian school event thing. And they asked people if they wanted to give their lives to Jesus. And I did that. Second, why I became a Christian. Well, I became a Christian because for one, I knew it was the right thing to do. I grew up in a Christian household, like I said, but it's not why I became a Christian. I became Christian because feeling like when I'm worshiping or when I'm praying or when I'm, when I'm, you know, doing everyday things, I just feel it in my heart and like, I love talking to him like it was the right thing for me third of all if this video helped anyone in any sort of way with whatever they're going through maybe it was the same thing hope somebody finds this and this helps somebody else out because i don't feel any of those things anymore but i did and i hope nobody else feels this i didn't start seeing a change until i I took it to, to God and well and God like changed my life and stuff and he brings beauty to ashes and that's what he did for me I feel like if you're in the same position as me I just I, I really pray that you find Jesus and that you let him use you in this situation like he used me don't be afraid that people are not going to treat you the same if they don't treat you the same they're probably not your real friends to be honest if you guys like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what you would like to see me do next. Um, whether it's Christian related or any other topics you want me to do, 
yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!